So I have an urgent warning for all us Palantir investors out there. And I'm here to tell you guys right now, don't trust the bulls or the bears in this case because you are setting yourself up for failure and I don't want you to do that. So let's discuss the truth about Palantir bulls and bears. We'll also talk about the urgent warning and we'll discuss should you buy Palantir now or not. Just make sure you like the video if you like getting the truth without the hype. We will get to the warning in just a second here, guys. But nobody is to be trusted in regards to this stock whenever you look out there. So let's start with the bears first. The bears have repeatedly been wrong over the long run with this stock. I mean, back in the day, you guys remember, it was only a $5 stock and will never get back over 10 was the repeated line from the bears time and time again. And clearly that was not true over the long run. Then I heard constantly that once that happened and it got up over 10, that Palantir can't grow the commercial business. It's only good for government contracts, which again, clearly is not true, which of course then means the bears then complain that the government contracts aren't keeping up with the commercial contracts. So now that's the problem, not the other way around. I mean, it's just laughable stuff to be honest because you can't win no matter what you do. Then the bears jump to the conclusion that Palantir will never be profitable. There is no path to profitability, but profitability came two years earlier than even the bulls expected. When it was at its lows, its very lows, the bears were out there saying sell, sell, sell because $4 is the most likely and then it's gonna just go lower from there because this is just a terrible business. I know us here on this channel, we were busy buying every share in sight in the six and $7 range and not listening to that narrative, which by the way, even the bulls flipped on you during that time frame, but we'll get to them here in just a minute because they have their flaws too. But if you listen to those bears, you may have missed it in the sixes, then the sevens, then the eights, then the tens, then the twelves, then 15 and so on, which really sucks if you believe in this company and you see where the price is today more importantly, because man, it hurts to have missed those prices back then. But you wouldn't have missed it if you would have been buying those six and dollar shares like crazy, if you were a part of my group, which is on sale and the price goes up forever in just a few days where you get all my buys like that in real time, you get free coaching, you get direct access to me, my complete watch list with price targets. You get five courses for free and so much more guys. Check out the pinned comment, see if a membership's right for you before the membership price goes back up forever. But the point I'm trying to make is the bears have been wrong at every turn. And if you listened, you probably have a lot of regret now in regards to this stock. But the bulls have an equally bad track record as well with this stock. So let's talk about them next. In 2021, it was going to the moon when it was already on Mars at 40 plus dollars per share. And then it fell all the way into the upper fives at the lows just one year later. And the bulls were saying that the growth rate was going to explode from 30% to 50% despite management nor anyone else saying that. So it's just kind of a made up growth rate that came from, I don't know where it definitely wasn't coming from management. And of course they were saying buy the dip, which I agree with buying the dip, but the growth rate went the opposite direction, putting further pressure on the stock price and destroying everybody's pretty little models and charts and everything else trying to justify really, really high prices for Palantir stock. And then as it got uglier and it continued to trend down because the growth rate was going down. And of course we were right in the middle of a stock crash. That's kind of what happens in a stock crash. Virtually every stock goes down. It was don't buy Palantir at these lows because Alex banged the table. I got it. He banged the table during an earnings call. It's not the craziest thing I've ever seen. Definitely not what you necessarily want to see your CEOs do, but nonetheless, it wasn't the worst thing I heard, but I actually heard more freak out about that from the bulls than I did from the bears about that exact scenario happening. Now, obviously that was the opportune time to buy the stock instead. Then after it kind of got its feet up underneath it and kind of really started moving in the right direction, turning profitable and everything else, some of the bulls wanted to trade Palantir and guaranteed that it would fall back down to $7 after running up to almost $10 and many retail sold and took profits because that was the genius move to do apparently. And of course, instead of it going back down to that seven, it never dipped below 10 again and it's up over $20 now instead. The point is many of the bulls have been wrong at almost every turn as well. And that segues perfectly into the warning that you need to hear about this stock. If you are listening to the bulls or the bears, instead of doing your own due diligence, executing your own plan and strategy, you will lose in the long run. That is a fact with investing. Now, don't worry, we'll get to if you should buy it or not right now at these levels in just a second. But in regards to this point, the bulls nor the bears know your risk tolerance. Many here on YouTube change their strategies eight times a year. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, 
but it's probably not right for you if I had to guess. Some folks just flip from bear to bull depending upon what is getting clicks that particular month. Again, I'm not trying to hate, I'm not trying to say anything else like that, but that gain doesn't help me as an investor, so I'm guessing it may not help you as an investor either. Now, to be fair, I have seen many great investors learn a strategy from somebody else, then look at their situation and adjust the strategy to meet their goals, their risk tolerance, and all of that stuff, and execute it to great success. Simply doing that can absolutely lead to you hitting all your goals and having a great portfolio, and it's honestly how we learn a lot of times and develop our own investing styles to kind of fit us as individuals, right? It's just kind of like music. You know, you're influenced by all kinds of different musicians and all different genres. And of course it kind of creates whatever your particular you know, musical taste is. But I have never met or know of any great investor who just did what others are doing and copied somebody else. And it gets even more dicey when you listen to one, then jump to another, then listen to another. You just kind of create chaos all the way around. Simply copying someone else's paper or multiple people's paper usually leads to disaster in the long run. So make sure you have your own style and strategy. Which of course, is exactly what we do in our group, but I got it. It's not right for everyone there, but it's absolutely something you have to learn and you have to understand. So should you buy Palantir or not at these levels? If I just give you a simple yes or no, I'm just like everybody else trying to make short-term predictions. And don't worry, I'll get you an answer, I promise but let me give you an answer to the question, but kind of from a different angle, so kind of stick with me here. It's gonna make sense and it's gonna get you there, I promise. Now, where do you see the stock, Palantir stock, in three to five years based on your due diligence of the company? I mean, is it $30? Is it $50, $100, even $500? What has your due diligence told you about this stock? Does this price today, if you bought, give you the return you want if it hits those marks, whichever one of those marks or whatever marks you came up with on your own, if it hits those marks, are you getting the sort of return that you want out of this stock? Now, obviously you have your answer to that question right there, but let me tell you and be upfront. I don't care if it falls to $15 in a month. I'm looking long-term and not trying to time the market. So would you be happy with those returns regardless of whether it falls to $15 next month or you know runs up to $30 next, next month or whatever the case is? The point being, I'm not trying to look short-term, long-term, are you happy with those returns? If so, I would say implement your plan and strategy and start buying. And let me give you some examples to help you out with that too. Now, if you aren't comfortable getting price targets, doing valuations and all that sort of good stuff, I understand that completely. Like we teach in the group, we teach that. Totally understand. It's okay if you don't know how to do that, then just do a simple DCA. That is all you have to do. You're not timing the market, not some crazy options play, not any of the other crap that's discussed out there. Just a simple DCA. It's a great time-tested strategy that is rarely beaten. So doing a basic DCA into Palantir eliminates the need to play games or buy or not, or when to do it or anything else like that. You're just buying on your schedule and executing to that DCA and moving on with life. Now, maybe you're more comfortable with price targets, then you absolutely just execute your modified DCA at those price targets, which may mean it's a buy now, based on your targets. Look back at that plan, look at those targets and see exactly whether or not it's a buy or not. That's exactly how you answer the question. You don't wait for myself or anyone else to tell you what to do. Planning and execution are keys to investing and the people that get burned over the long run are those that try to just copy others instead of learning. I mean, we saw it in 2021, 2022, and even last year, that type of strategy destroys people's portfolios. So take control and have a bulletproof portfolio that gets you to your goals run your own waste. That is all that matters, guys. Just run your own race. Don't worry about anybody else. And if you want to learn exactly how to run your own race, don't miss the sale that ends in just a couple of days for my group where you got five courses, you got free coaching, you have direct access to me, you have the best six, seven, and eight figure discord out there to talk to. I have hundreds of videos in there that help you with all kinds of concepts around investing. We have a stock analyzer tool in there you use, guys. There's, there's just so much involved in the group. Make sure you check out the pinned comment and see if a membership's right for you and take advantage of the sale before it ends and the price goes back up. And click this video here if you wanna see exactly what I'm buying in this market and click here to see my exact plan for this market. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.